In our previous video, we discussed the product called Cooper's Strip Club. Cooper's Strip Club, straight from New Zealand, the beautiful country of New Zealand. Now what this product is, it's a car stripping, no sanding, so easy product. Any paint, any varnish, any surface type stripper. Now this can be used on wood, plastic, fiberglass, and metal. We went through a detailed video of that. Go back in the videos. There'll be a link in the description of this video for that video if you want to see it in detail as my friend Pete shows you and unboxes the situation and tells you everything that it will do. Stripped from any metal. Their products are effective and safe to use on many metal types which include aluminum, iron, steel, stainless steel, copper, brass, sheet metal, sheet aluminum, galvanized metal. Just many, 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 many uses for this. It's a no sanding usually most of the time in, in a project this wasted sanding and grinding. Our products and techniques let you strip down the bare metal without leaving residue. Pre-existing damage or rust may require separate sanding or repair work. If you're looking for a product like this, I suggest you check them out online. Cooperstripclub.com They ship all over the world. Free shipping at a certain price of availability of, of product that you're buying. And in this video, our last and final destination of what Cooper Strip Club is all about, we take this product to the extreme and we put it up against the number one USA America product called Aircraft Stripper. Aircraft Stripper was designed many, many years ago. Beautiful product that it was, or should I say is. It's America's number one stripper. We put this Cooper's brand up against the American brand called Aircraft Stripper and we're going to find out which one's the best, what does the job, what needs more work, and who comes out the winner. Let's get to this video set of this guy versus that guy situation and find out exactly who strips the best. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. at is a deck lid that goes to a 1967 GTO. Now this deck lid has been painted several times. It's got several coats of paint on it. It's got primer on it. And if you look, I got it split in half here because what we're going to do is we are going to do a test trial to see which stripper will strip the paint off and do the proper job that we want. Now on this side over here we're going to be using Coopers which is from the UK, Cooper Strip Club, we're going to be using that on this side here. I'm going to show you how to apply it, I'm going to show you how to use it. And then over here, we're going to use the good old American brand Aircraft Stripper. Let's go over and look at our products, let's see what versus what, and how we're going to use it, and what the difference is in using them totally all together. Alright, we got two products here, one is Aircraft Stripper. And the other one is a brand called Coopers. Um, Coopers is made um, overseas and you can look at their website if you're interested in it. And um, they sell their product, I believe, by the gallons only. I don't know. Maybe they sell it by the quarts. Um, I went ahead and bought a gallon of it. And on the can of the Coopers, you can see 
that it has explicit, highly detailed instructions how to use the product. Uh, I think that well, they got basically three basic steps here. And then if you turn it around, it also shows you precautions that you should take, reading labels, this, that, and the other. So that's our Cooper's Strip Club uh, paint stripper that we're going to use on one half of the um, deck lid. And then I want to go over some other stuff that comes with your Coopers. First of all, you get uh, explicit directions on how to use it. Um, they also have their own special scotch brights. These are their own special scotch brights that they uh, supply, or you can actually purchase them separately. Um, I believe these are for the cleaning of the metal after you strip. And I'm just letting everybody know I'm, I'm kind of winging it here. I actually watched several of their videos and I saw how good it performed. I went ahead and ordered a gallon of it. So we got all this stuff with it. Um, just to let everybody know, these companies are not paying me. I'm not making any money on it. I will say one thing, aircraft stripper, air, air, uh, aircraft paint remover stripper company sent me this box in the mail for free because I did a video on their product showing how bad it worked. They claim that this product is a better product and it's the new improved stuff. We're going to get to that in a minute. So let's go ahead and finish up with Coopers. But I want to make that clear, these people are not paying me to make videos. Okay, so whoever wins in this competition, that's the way it goes. I'm sorry if you're the loser, uh, you know, take it like a man, I guess. That's all I can tell you. Um, another thing that comes with Coopers is their own unique steel wool. Uh, this is the strip, they call it the stripper wool. Um, and they have this specifically made for their stripper. So it comes in a bag, and we'll get to that in a minute. They went ahead and sent me some wire brushes. Um, wire brushes are good to use when stripping paint because uh, you can get in crevices and cracks that you can't get uh, anywhere else. Now, the way that you apply this stripper is totally different than the way you apply this stripper. So before we open this box, let's go ahead and get to this. Um, the way that they apply their stripper, the Coopers, is actually you spray it on. Now, they supply the uh, stripper bottles and another thing is you get this lid with their stripper. This is a pour lid that goes on the gallon jug. Um, another thing that they gave me, it's called Skin Guard Barrier Lotion. So this is type of a, a barrier lotion that you would put on your skin so if it splashes on you um, it won't penetrate and hurt you. They send you these bottles or they sent me these bottles and they say that these are uh, industrial grade um, stripper spray bottles and they also said what you do is you put the lid on there and you don't want to cut the lid you want it to curl up inside here like this and what that does is what uh, the owner said that ensures that the uh, stripper will be sucked in thoroughly so um, I don't know if you can see in the bottle but uh, she said just lay the tube in there and let it curl up I was told that you put on thin coats and you wait about 15-20 minutes in between each coat and then you spray some more on and then you let it set. Once again the instructions are right here. Uh, there you go. One through three. Um, and we're going to go ahead and use this on one half of that hood or the deck lid. So now that we went over this let's go ahead and go over this product here. Now what you're looking at here, this is my stripper bucket. Um, I've always used aircraft stripper. I'm going to go ahead and open this box up. Um, this box has never been opened. I, they actually sent it to me, uh, I don't know, probably, they sent it to me like six months ago and I just never got around to making a video because um, I haven't had anything to strip really. But uh, they went ahead and sent this to me. Now this is the aircraft stripper. Let me go ahead and get them out of here. Here's, here's one right here. And uh, here's another one. And I'm glad I'm opening this box because these things feel like they're ready to explode. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and put my safety glasses on now. Um, one thing about uh, paint stripper, including this, is 
the temperature of the air and the humidity and the heat and everything will cause the cans to expand. So it's very important to watch that. But uh, anyway, so they went ahead and sent me six quarts. So that's a gallon and a half. You can see that right there. And this is the aircraft stripper we're talking about. And um, the way that you apply this is totally different. Now, I've been using this for 40 years. And I've never had a problem with it until recently when the EPA uh, banned the ethanol, methanol, or whatever chemical is in the product. And when I went to use it several other times after that, it was basically total shit. It was total crap. So a representative from this company contacted me, and he said, Hey, Pete, we saw your video on the aircraft stripper, and we've changed our formula. We went ahead and added... Um, we went ahead and added uh, chemicals in it that really, really work good and it works like the old stuff. And I said, okay, so how do you apply it? Uh, with a brush? Go ahead and brush it on. He said, yeah, but the thing is, to really make it work properly, you got to put cellophane over, you got to put cellophane over the uh, stripper after you put it on. Now, in the old days, the way that this product worked, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, the way that this product worked, is that you would pour it in your stripper bucket, and that's what we're going to do. Um, and then you would take the stripper, you'd dip it in, and then you'd brush one coat on. That's it. And then you'd brush another one like that. Because if you went back and forth over the same area with the stripper, it would deactivate the chemical that actually strips it. So you would dip it in, slop it in there, and then brush it like this. And that's how we're going to put it on, the way that I know how. And then we will take the plastic. i got to go get some cellophane. We'll get some cellophane, and we'll go ahead and put cellophane on it like the representative guy instructed me to do. So one thing that's very important when you're stripping, no matter what kind of stripper you use, you have to use a respirator, and you have to use a well-ventilated area. Um, behind me, I have my uh, rear overhead door open. i got a very big shop. And we're ready to go ahead and start stripping and seeing which one's going to work the best as we take a, uh, a sample of each one and strip our deck lid over here. We're going to go ahead and see if the Coopers outstrips the aircraft stripper or if the aircraft stripper outstrips the Coopers. Okay, I got some gloves. Let's go ahead and get this prepped up. We're going to go ahead and move these out of the way for right now. Let's go ahead and put them over here. That's our tools. Okay, we got both of our products ready to use. Um, I noticed this one here is more of a liquid than a paste. The aircraft stripper is a lot thicker. Let me show you that. I don't know if you saw that. It's a lot thicker and it's more of a paste like the stripper that you would normally use. Okay, we're going to leave that in there. Whereas the Cooper is a liquid. Uh, I was very shocked and surprised when I opened that and saw 
that this was a this is basically a watery liquid substance and I just got a little bit of the cooper on my arm here so yeah that did burn versus the aircraft stripper which is basically like I said a paste so we got two different types of products here let's go ahead and apply it to our deck lid and let's see which one's going to work okay just for the fun of it we're going to go ahead and take this skin guard and we're going to go ahead and put a little bit on our arms and we're going to see if this stuff actually works and it doesn't take much so this is from Cooper's it's called skin guard and I'm talking as loud as I can. I got my respirator on. The smell in here is atrocious. Bear with me. So we got the aircraft stripper over here. And then we got the Coopers over here. So we're going to go ahead and spray a coat of this on for the Coopers. It's going to take us a few minutes to get this going. And I was told to spray this on in layers not to put a thick coat on. So let's go ahead and set our spray gun. Here it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and spray this surface down. And I noticed right away that the liquid, the, the stripper, penetrates right in. And look over here, you can see it's already stripping the paint away with one coat. So we're going to let that sit while we apply our aircraft stripper. And the way that you do that, you take a brush and you put it on the item that you're stripping just like you see me doing here And then we're going to go ahead and apply one more coat because it's really sinking in. And the way that I normally do it, this is how I do it. Now, the representative at the aircraft stripper factory said that I had to take cellophane and wrap the product with cellophane, which I've never done that before either. I've always just put it on there and it's stripped. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Once again, I never had to use cellophane with stripper before. So this is a first for me. And I see that the aircraft stripper is really working well. So we're going to leave that on there, and now we're going to go back to the Coopers. 
And we're going to continue to work with it while we're waiting on that. Approximately 30 minutes. I went ahead and sprayed two coats on our Cooper side. We went ahead and put one coat of stripper on our aircraft stripper side with our plastic. We're going to go ahead and peel the plastic off. And you can see that the stripper on the plastic side, which is our aircraft, looks like it's coming off very well, but let's go ahead and look at that a little bit closer. We're going to take our scraper blade and we're going to scrape it. And you can see that the only thing that is stripped on our first go around is the blue paint. The primer is still on there. And if you look real close, you can see the other paint underneath it. I can see in some spots where it removed some of the primer, but not all of it. So with one serving of aircraft stripper, it basically took the blue paint off and it left the primer behind but if we would have left it on there maybe a little longer, it might have penetrated through the primer and taken it off with the blue paint down to the factory paint. Let's go ahead and see what our Cooper did after two sprays of the chemical. If we compare the two sides, the Cooper literally took off the primer and the top coat paint down to the original paint of this vehicle, whereas the aircraft stripper took the top coat paint off but left the primer, the aftermarket primer, behind, and that was on one usage. We're going to go ahead and apply our stripper one more time to see what's going to happen and see which one's going to be the best. So far the Cooper is coming out to be the leader in this product and the aircraft stripper is following behind um, very poorly. Um, I don't like this idea here. To me, this is a pain in the ass. And 
to make this stuff activate and work properly. I just really don't like it and I think that there's other ways to strip a car besides doing this. This is one thing I don't like is having to come back and put cellophane on a product like this to make it work. We'll go ahead and continue to put two more coats of our Cooper spray on our panel and see what happens. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let those sit for another 30 minutes. We're going to see what happens by applying our second coat of stripper to each panel. Alright, since the aircraft stripper didn't do the job that we thought it would do, um, the Cooper actually worked a little better. As you notice, it took all of the white primer off. The aircraft stripper didn't do that. We're going to go ahead and leave this on here while we go ahead and work with our um, Cooper. So Cooper actually supplies this steel wool here and I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera over here now so we can actually see what's going on. Um, I was telling you about Cooper, how they supply their own steel wool and it comes in a big roll. So we're going to go ahead and use their steel wool on their product. So we're going to take the steel wool and kind of roll it up like we would a piece of toilet paper and then we're going to start removing the stripper and the paint with the steel wool that Cooper supplies. Okay, so we see that the Cooper completely removed all of the factory paint right down to the factory primer. What I got here, I got uh, regular typical uh, coarse grade steel wool that you would buy at the store. This is what I use to remove this stripper here. Uh, let's go ahead and take the plastic off. Once again, this has all been sitting for approximately 30 minutes. And let's see what happens on this mess. So you can basically see the aircraft stripper is a much more of a mess. And when I say a mess, I'm talking diabolical mess. You can see how nice the Cooper stripper cleaned up this surface versus our aircraft stripper, which is really a mess. Um, and using the steel wool didn't even take all the primer off of the surface. So we'll go ahead and put another coat of aircraft stripper on our product. Just like I told you the way that I do it. Being careful not to splash it and splash it all over the place. And you can see how thick I'm putting this on. I, I'm, not, I'm not being chintzy with it any way whatsoever. I mean, it is going on very thick. So, we're doing it the thickest we can put it on without it actually rolling off and falling on the ground.
Okay, um, we've waited approximately another 30 minutes, and we can see that the Coopers is kind of looks like it's melting it away. We still got our plastic on the aircraft, so let's get our Cooper uh, steel wool here and let's start removing this and see what happens. This is the last coat that we're putting it on, people. I have got to get to work. So we're going to see what happens using the steel wool on the Coopers. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, scraper blade as well. So we're going to use the steel wool and the scraper blade on the Coopers. And you can see that red primer. And I'm going to be honest with you, this primer that you're looking at is very, very hard to remove. This is the factory original lacquer primer that was put on at the factory back in 1967. So, yeah, this stuff is very hard to remove, but it looks like the Coopers is taking it off like butter. Um, I noticed that the steel wool works better on the Coopers than the scraper blade. And once again, this is the last coat that we'll be putting on this as a demonstration. I see that it will need a few more coats to really make it work properly. And I will say that this primer is hard to remove, but the Coopers has done a good job by taking most of it off. One more coat would actually remove all of that uh, primer on there. All right, so for the final aircraft stripper coat. Let's see what happens now. I do got a piece of steel wool and the scraper blade for this side and once again this is the final judgment. I don't have time to sit here nine hours. So if we take the scraper you can see what's happening. Both of them have the exact same amount of stripper applied to them and I applied them exactly like they were supposed to be applied. And I will say one thing, the aircraft stripper puts off an extremely, extremely highly toxic smell versus the Cooper. The Cooper has hardly any smell at all, and it's actually a liquid compared to the paste that you use with the aircraft stripper. So there you go, let's go ahead and take the steel wool. Now this is store-bought steel wool. And we'll see what it does, which you can see it's not doing much. Not much at all. This is bare metal. This still has the primer on it. They both had the same amount of stripper applied. They both had the same time structure on the stripper. And you can see that the Cooper works a hundred times better and more efficient than the aircraft stripper. Okay, uh, to finish this video out, like I said, we can actually go ahead and add one more coat to that and it would probably clean it 100%. Um, I'm thinking that the aircraft stripper, let me get a can here. Okay. I'm thinking that the aircraft stripper would have took two more coats versus uh, we put three coats on with the Cooper and it worked very well. It went all the way down to the bare metal. You saw that. So to finish it out, we're going to go ahead and clean it now. The way that you clean uh, aircraft stripper is you use water. Okay, so we're going to use water on the aircraft stripper. Of course, it's not clean all, it's not removed all the way. Like I said, it would take two or three more coats of stripper to really get it off, but we're still going to use the water. And then the Cooper, um, I'll put that can right there. Uh, we got a big mess here, people. Please bear with me. I got to get this video done. Um, the Cooper actually makes a paint and varnish flusher, and they require, they say that uh, don't use any water, use this here to clean your metal off. This is a metal prep cleaner surfacer. And I'm thinking that you spray that on. Here's our spray bottle. Uh, but we're not going to spray it. We're kind of in a hurry here. We're going to go ahead and pour some of the flusher, the, the flusher into. Okay, so there's that. 
Once again, I've got to get to work, people. Um, I've been filming this since 7.30, 8 o'clock this morning. Um, you can see that the flusher has a tint to it. It's like a bluish color. Um, the smell that I'm getting is basically hardly nothing. I can smell it. It smells like it might have a little bit of bleach or chlorine or something in it. But other than that, it uh, seems like it's a good product. I don't know if it's a good product. I'm over talking myself. I'm in a hurry. I've got to get back to work. I got a lot to do today. Uh, we're going to take one of our Scotch Brights that Cooper gave us to clean this with. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll stick that in there. And then, of course, on the. Uh, okay, where's the steel wool? Here it is. Okay, so I got one more piece of steel wool left. We're going to use that for our aircraft stripper so let's do that test real quick and then I think we're done with this and I really don't need to say who the winner is I think it's pretty obvious uh, who the winner is let's go ahead and finish this out so we can get it done my friend Pete could go back to work okay so we got the water over here with the aircraft stripper and then of course on the Cooper stripper we got their chemical that we're going to use um, so let's go ahead and just get right at it and they claim that this is their surface cleaner and I can see that it really does clean the surface uh, I see a difference and you're going to see that here in a minute and I would like to explain if you're just popping in on this video that um, I should be putting another coat of uh, stripper on this panel but I'm in a hurry and really need to get back to work and you can see just by the, uh, the picture here, you can see by the picture which one is actually the better of the two. And I put the same amount of stripper on each one. So I'm cleaning the Cooper off with the uh, Scotch Bright that they put in the package. Um, I really don't see a difference between this Scotch Bright and red Scotch Bright. Um, it does seem a little bit more coarser and a little bit more um, dense. I think that's the word I'm looking for. So it does seem like it is a little bit more dense and a little bit more coarser. So we've cleaned this off here using our Scotch-Brite and our flusher cleaner. And I thought this would evaporate. I thought it would have a chemical in it to make it evaporate, but it doesn't. Um, I see that it kind of just stays on there until you wipe it off. Okay, and then on our aircraft stripper, basically the only thing you use with this is water. And what this does, and you got to use steel wool, and what this does, this actually removes the stripper residue. This takes the stripper residue off of the uh, metal and actually kills it. Uh, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for right now because I'm thinking about going back to work. I got a lot of stuff to get done. And this has been a very intense filming on this video. But uh, this is how you do aircraft stripper. You clean it off like this with water and that deactivates the stripper that kills the chemicals in it. And then you rinse it off, of course, with a hose, and then you're done. Here's our Cooper over here. You see the situation. I did it three light times. I put three coats of the Cooper on. Um, if I put one more coat on, I guarantee you that would be bare metal in no time whatsoever. Um, it already is bare metal. I'm talking about all the little imperfections I missed. This is our aircraft stripper right here. And you can see that by doing three coats, and let me go ahead and explain something else. On the last coat, I let it sit for approximately 45 minutes. So it had a, plenty of time underneath the cellophane to activate, and you see the primer is still on there, the factory primer, which is lacquer, that's very hard to remove. Um, the Cooper didn't have any problem removing it. The way that you apply aircraft stripper, of course, is with a brush. Um, and the way you apply the uh, um, Cooper brand is with 
the spray bottle. I used this lotion right here that they supply. It's called Skin Guard. That worked on the first coat that I put it on. And then after that, when I was spraying it, I was getting a little bit of mist in the air. It got on my skin and it had a mild burn to it. So you need to protect yourself when you're using this. Um, I think that you could probably use, get away with using a brush and seeing how that works on flat surfaces. This will probably not be brushable on the side of the car. You will have to use a spray bottle. Um, I like the fact that this is a liquid. And believe me, I mean this liquid really does the trick. I was really shocked. Um, I like this cleaner that they supply. This is actually a sealer and a cleaner to seal the metal up so it doesn't uh, create any rust and get moisture on it. I noticed when I put a bead of water on it, I don't know if you can watch this, I'm going to go ahead and take my finger and you can see that it rolls, it, it beads itself up, it doesn't uh, coagulate and uh, become one. So there's a protectant there somewhere when you use this flusher. It uh, removes the residue and also protects the metal until you're ready to work on it. Um, so I like that. The only thing I really don't like is when you spray this bottle, the mist gets on you and burns. Um, the skin guard, like I said, it worked the first time. Maybe I didn't apply it properly. I don't know. But if you were going to use the skin guard, I suggest that every time that you put a coat of the spray on, put this on your arms if you're looking like I am today. Um, other than that, very good stuff. Overall, it works great. The steel wool really did a good trick. I was really surprised. Um, you can see by the steel wool that we got here, there's, we could still use this if we wanted to. Uh, I mean, this versus the regular steel wool, which is this, um, this little piece right here, I'm thinking this is 100 times better. Aircraft stripper, what don't I like about it? I don't like that you have to slop it on there and brush it on. It makes a big giant mess. I don't like that the new Ultra, I think that's what they're calling this, Ultra Paint Remover. Um, I don't like that brand for the fact that you have to use this cellophane. I have stripped hundreds and hundreds of cars using aircraft stripper and never had to use cellophane. That's a Y2K thing. That's something that just started when I started using aircraft stripper it was not clear it was dark yellow and if you got a little bit of a just a little splash on your skin it would burn your skin so bad you thought that you burned yourself with a cigarette um, they claim that this is the new chemical this is the brand new brand um, I don't see anything that claims that or states that this is high-tech stuff you saw it with your own eyes you saw that I used it three times and I put it on there super super thick and in my opinion if this was like the new the new chemical the new formula that says ultra on there I think what they should have done is this stripper should have took that paint off immediately and it didn't um, there's a lot of tools to clean up if you use this stuff uh, and then you got to get rid of the excess because here's another thing about aircraft stripper and I don't know if that is uh, equivalent to this but once you open the can and air gets to it the chemicals inside it start to dissipate and depreciate that means the longer that you keep this can once the, uh, can the air gets to it the less active it is it doesn't work like it did the first time you open the can. So if we go down to the floor, I want everybody to look. Here's the mess that we made over here with the Cooper stripper, and then over here is the mess that we made with the aircraft stripper. I'm going to let you be the judge on the situation. This is Pete, my friend Pete, doing a review on what's better and what's worse. Which one would I use and which one wouldn't I use? You can make your own mind up. Uh, the links to both products are down in the description of this video, right below the video, above the comments. Please leave a comment. If you've used Cooper Stripper before, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And if you've used Aircraft Ultra, the brand new formula that they claim is the best stuff in the world, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about that. I think that the stuff makes a, 
a, a horrendous mess. I mean, look at the mess that we made just by stripping a half of a deck lid off a of 67 uh, GTO. Once again, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, take it easy. We'll see you later. I hope this video has helped you out, and I hope you make the right decision on what you want to do when it comes to stripping your car. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.